Fifty years ago this month, the first color TV hit the American market. Can you believe it? Channel 8's John Pronk visits with the Flower Mound television collector who remembers those 50 years with fondness. When it comes to televisions, Bob Olinger has the newfangled kind, the remote-controlled, high-definition and high-dollar TV sets. Um, tell me if I can... And upstairs, he has the old-fashioned kind. There it is. The type Bob grew up with. They sold for new around a thousand dollars. A set like this would probably be worth a couple of thousand dollars today. Twice what it was when it first came out. This is a room full of low definition, high maintenance nostalgia. I love to be able to come up and just turn on the set and just see it work. I belong to the Vintage Radio Phonograph Society here in Dallas, which helps preserve that technology amongst uh, the collectors, both in radios and phonographs and TVs as well. Fifty years ago, the first color television set hit the marketplace. Since then, there's been a lot of changes, of course. But for Bob, these old televisions hold a real attraction. It used to be you could adjust the knobs and things, and I kind of like to do that. The new ones, you just you know, push a button, and that's all there is to it. I hit this thing with all the voltage at once, and it looks like it popped a fuse. On these old sets, you almost have to cross your fingers every time you bring them up. It's just the way it is. He restores them himself. Keeping them running is a full-time job. The picture isn't very clear, the color isn't very true, but it's a beautiful sight to behold for this 58-year-old computer company executive. It's nice to be able to come here and kind of just get away and kind of go back in the time that these things were, you know, common, and now they're very uncommon and very few of them even work. You can go from the green to the purple. John Bronx, Channel 8 News, Flower Mound. Yeah. I remember days of the green, the yeah. green tent. Well, and you know how popular some of those old vintage TV shows are, too. That's right. So, good night.